We all know that the Ferocious Cup is going to be super complicated. We already knew that from the day it got released. We're not going to get into that because we got into it a couple videos before. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to build your team. We're also going to show you how to make some sweet, delicious dumplings. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not doing that? No. Oh. All right, guys, so as we said before, the Ferocious Cup is going to be very complicated. We understand that. It's a list of Pokemon, what you can use. Take the rule of the whole four-legged, two-legged with a tail and just throw it out. Yeah, throw it out. thinking about the matter like that. Uh, look at the, the list that uh, Silphrina provided. Yep. And just to make it less complicated, stop thinking about the legs and start thinking about the types now. Correct. I've been getting YouTube comments. I've been getting Twitter DMs. I've been getting tagged on Twitter way too many times with Pokemon that are not even eligible in yeah. the Ferocious Cup. So just stop it. I was Don't playing, do it. I was playing uh, Big Rich and he used Lapras and he's like, what? It has four legs. I'm like, it has four fins, buddy. <laughs> Speaking about Big Rich, we have a Squirtle popped off. You move your big head over there. Oh we have a Squirtle popped out right over there and that was given to us by Big Rich. So thank you so much uh, Thanks, for Rich. that Squirtle popped off. Really appreciate you, brother. Going back into the actual team comp, we kind of figured out the entire meta from our last video. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. Video link will be down in the description. So make sure you guys check that out before you guys check this out. So with the Ferocious Cup, we know that there's a lot of typings, mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, you have dark types, you have charm users, you have anti-charm yeah, users. You gotta be very careful with what types you pick this exactly. time around. Exactly. Yeah. Water, electric, ground, normal, the, the whole nine yards, right? You, you, it's just so broad. Yeah. Now from there, we actually picked our Pokemon and we're like, okay, what? This is what I think I'm gonna be using. Yeah, but let's start, um, tell us, what do you think? What, what do you think are the six categories you need for this meta? In the Ferocious Cup, we have seven Typings. That's right, there's seven typings. Seven? Yes, What's there's the seven. mystery one? I'll tell you I after. know six of them. I'll tell you after. Oh my god. All right. Number one, the dark types. Number two, we have the charmers to be That's able me. to- I'm charming. Hey, no, I think you're the next category. No, 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 no. I'm pretty no, no, sure you're no, the, no, next you're the next category. No, no, you're the next the category. The next category is anti-charmer, which is the J-farm. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's you. I'm charming. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm charming. In what world? But anyways. Listen. <laughs> Next, we have our water types. After that, we're going to be going with our electric types. And last but not least, but that's actually really not last, but it is the ground types. After that, we have finally, you ready? The normal types. All right. No, that is a category. It's appropriate. I see what you mean. Right? So in our team, we took we basically took a look at these typings and we're like, okay, how are we gonna put this together to be able to do as much coverage, but also be able to play well with teams of three? Yeah. Also, uh, you guys don't have to follow these types. This is really just suggestions. But this is what we think. If you want to go uh, triple water, go ahead, do, do it. it. If you triple like, charm users, yeah, I like it. If you're charming, if you like playing in the water, then just stack your team with them. Well, we're not gonna judge. <laughs> I I, I kind of like that actually. Triple charm. Yeah, that'd be dope. Do it. Triple Charm, the little nine fast. tails. <laughs> they're, they're, gonna lose. Their they're gonna lose with all their shields. <laughs> all right, go on. All right, so number one, first and foremost, we have our dark types. So now in the dark types, we have Pokemon like Umbreon and Alolan Raticate. Alolan Raticate. Which is a kind of a lenient second, but if you don't have the last wizard Umbreon, you could try it. Right? Worst case scenario, you don't have a Last Resort Umbreon, you want to go with Alolan Raticate because it allows you to have Hyper Fang. Yeah, I will also say that Alolan Raticate is a lot cheaper in terms of resources. Yeah. Uh, what is it, like 10,000 for a second move? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. And Alolan uh, Umbreon is 75,000 for that second move. Yeah. So uh, if you just want to like play Ferocious Cup and have fun, go with Alolan Raticate. <laughs> yeah, all you need is really like a higher leveled Alolan Rattata yeah. and bah, evolve. 9k for the second move, Yeah, call it a day, right? That being said, Umbreon is very good. <laughs> yeah, Umbreon, I'm gonna say, is the king of the dark types, and Umbreon is literally the king of the Ferocious Cup right now, so I'm gonna say 100% fro uh, out of the dark types, you're gonna need Umbreon. Next, we're gonna have our Charmers. Now, the Charm users usually have a Fairy typing. If they don't have a Fairy typing, uh, they're probably lit normal. Yeah, Delcaddy, uh, 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 Cat, Catwoman. Lipard. Lipard. Is it Catwoman? It's <laughs> <laughs> mad like Catwoman, all right. Well, uh, in the Charmers, personally, I like the, the the Pokemon that beats the rest of that category. Mm -hmm. So we have, like we said, Lipard, uh, Delcaddy, we have Gramble, and we have 
Alolan Ninetales. Right. Now, Alolan Ninetales beats the rest of the Charmers. Also does the charm job. So, I'm gonna go with Alolan Ninetales. Go for it, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you're going for the, the resource saving, uh, Grand Pull's not that bad either. There's a lot of them out there. Yeah, not that I bad. I think it's still 50,000 to is it? upgrade it. But why does it go below 9,000? Oh, it's 50,000, 75,000. I have no idea. I have no idea. I should have looked at this before we start. <laughs> I had my Lola 9,000 ready for quite a while now, so right. I'm going to keep them. Del Caddy is a little hard. You need like a hundo, don't you? Because it yeah. only goes to 1,500. I think so. I think really? A hundo, yeah. Wow. So maybe... Um, I, I was like, I'm not using him. Yeah. I, I already knew... I, before, I, before you even told me this, I was like, I'm not using Del Caddy. <laughs> I'm not doing it. So... I'm glad you told me that because now yeah. I'm for sure not using it. <laughs> Life Park might be pretty cheap if you want to use that as your charmer. Yeah, Some people are saying it's good. I heard it's pretty good, but the thing is, again, a little Night Tales beats him. Yeah. So. If we're gonna look for what beats the best, uh, beats the charmers, we're gonna go with Alolan Nine Tails. Number three on the list, I'm gonna be picking the anti charmers. Anti charmers? That's you. It's gonna be Skunk Tank and Alolan uh, Marowak. Yeah. And we also have regular Nine Tails. I was using it for a bit, not yeah. that bad. Yeah. It's uh, it's a little, it can get a little tricky if you run it with Solar Beam. <laughs> Uh, you know, you, you, you're doing your job as, a, as the anti-charmer. Yeah. They're like, okay, I'm gonna switch into a, a water type, a basic type advantage. I'm gonna take out this nine tails solar beam. <laughs> you're running on nine tails with solar beam. You might get the shield on the solar beam, but at least you got the shield, right? Yeah. Worst case scenario, you don't get the shield, and you one shot that <laughs> Vaporeon, Suicune, really whatever it is. Love to hit. If you Suicune hit a solar, solar beam, beam you the are crowd is ten go. miles ahead. Yeah, the crowd is gonna go crazy. <laughs> People are watching your battle. <laughs> Solar Man! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> like, literally, you were a legend. Yeah, okay, but point. who are you running for the anti charm Alright, so with anti charmers we said Skunk Tank, Alolan Marowak, and Ninetales. Uh, Ninetales. For sure, I'm going with Skunk Tank. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I'm going to go with Skunk Tank is because um, he does really well against the anti charmers Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have the dark weakness. It's also Halloween right now, and they're spawning everywhere. So, it's double true. candy, people should have them. Uh, but also, you should have an Alolan Marowak with all the other cups that's been relevant in. And I'm running an Alolan Marowak, so... Yeah. That's the thing, right? Like, as you said before, Alolan Marowak um, is weak to water. Right? And the dark types. Yeah. While Skunk Tank is <coughs> not weak to the dark types. And it's kind of, kind of weak to water. Okay, there, bud. <laughs> You're right there, bud. Sorry, the car right. went down the wrong way. <laughs> Anti Charmer. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alright, go on. <laughs> go on. Like I said before, uh, I'm gonna go with Skunk Tank just because he does have Crunch and he also has Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb, don't underestimate Sludge Bomb. It will do a huge hit on anything it hits. Literally anything. It's doing very general damage in this entire meta. Nothing yep. really resisting it. Yep. Yeah. So, next, we're gonna be going with a Water type. Now, with the Water types, we have Vaporeon, we have uh, Bibberl. Bibberl? Is it Bibberl yeah. or is it Bibberl? No, J Devin confirmed it is Bibberl. Is it? Yeah. All right. Let's go with what he said. <laughs> All right. And Suicune. That's a lot of choices. You got some. You got some options with your water. Yep. Um, I. I don't know. I kind of like Vaporeon. I'm running Vaporeon. Yeah. Vaporeon with uh, Last Resort. Pretty OP. Yeah. If you're looking for the resource cost, if you're saving some resources, you can go with Bibro. It's really not that bad. Hyper Fang and uh, Surf. Yeah. Could be spammy. Uh, Hyper Fang does a ton of damage if they're not expecting it. So, it's up to you. Uh, Suicune. Suicune is really good. Has the the buffed up snarl. Um, it also has Bubble Beam and it also has Hydro Pump. Yeah. Now, baity, very baity with that Bubble Beam Hydro Pump. Exactly, and that's the thing. You can charge up all the way to Hydro Pump, hit him with a Bubble Beam. Mm -hmm. It's that's the thing, guys. With Bubble Beam, there's no such thing as a negative shield bait here. Yeah. You don't get the shield, no problem, you just lower their attack. If you don't know what negative shield baiting is, check out our PvP tips on shield baiting. But out of all the water types, I do like Suicune, I do like Vaporeon, I'm not a huge fan of Bibaro. I'm not a huge fan, but it saves a lot of resources. <laughs> it does. Again, guys, if you're like low on Stardust, you really want to participate, do it. Yeah. Right? It's not that bad. Um, I personally just like Vaporeon and Suicune better. Mm -hmm. I'm actually, I might, rape, I might run both. Do you need Last Resort on Vaporeon? Uh, maybe. It's boosted with Last Resort. I mean, yeah. Like, if, if we're gonna be honest, yeah. a lot of people have been asking the question if you need Last Resort on these. It really does perform better with Last Resort, but I'm not gonna say you need it. Right, you could run Hydro Pump. You could. Yeah. But with 
Water gun is gonna take you a, a long while. time. It's yeah. gonna take you a while, guys. Lantern runs that way. <laughs> yeah. And lantern takes a lot to get to uh yep. fall. But again, guys, you know what? You might even run in this scenario, you might run even two waters. Who knows? Yeah. We'll get back to that later though. Uh, next we're gonna have the electric types. We have electric types like oh my god. Alright. Are yeah. you gonna say electric says grass or are we just gonna go grass geez, or are we just gonna go straight electric types? Uh, because I, there is a Pokemon that could fill in that role while being normal type. Okay, so let's just call it the anti anti waters. Anti waters. Anti waters. <laughs> I like it. All right. Um, we're gonna. It's yeah. So the anti waters we have uh, Lanoon, which has Grass Knot. Grass Knot. Uh, combined with Shadow Claw, it gets that Grass move very quickly. Right. And Grass Knot kind of hits pretty hard. Yeah, I think it does really well against pretty much everything. Yeah. Like, like everything. Yeah. And next to Lanoon, we got the Minin. <laughs> Yep. But, you know, it could be any electric type. I'm running Raichu right now. What are you running? I'm running Minin. Right. I'm gonna run Minin, yeah. Uh, I like Minin just because of the fact that he could also beat Umbreon. Right. Right? The fact that he can beat Umbreon, huge. Circumstantially. <laughs> if it gets those uh, shield baiting right? I'm pretty sure you can just do it with the double Thunderbolt. I... Do you think? I'm pretty sure. Alright. Run some simulations. See who's right. You're probably right. Probably. <laughs> but uh, not just that, again guys, there's a lot of electric types out there. You also have Raikou, you have, uh, like he said, Raichu. Um, I was looking at the Jolteon, last resort Jolteon too. Jolteon. He's doing pretty good. Not, yeah, it's definitely yeah. not bad. It does not rely on shield baiting, which mm -hmm. is like kind of the only electric type that doesn't really rely on that shield baiting. It's true. Yeah. Wait, we also have Raichu with Brick Brick. Right, can do some decent damage to the dark types. I like Raichu with Brick Brick. Yeah. That's what I'm running. Right, you can also run Alolan Raichu, but I don't know. I kind of like don't like the fact that it has that psychic. psychic. I don't it's like really it. Weak to lots. Yeah. Right. So I have all those electric types, guys. I'm gonna be picking Minin. Last but not least, guys, we already have our five Pokemon picked. Now the sixth Pokemon is gonna be something that we like to call the wild card. Right? Yeah. The wild card is what's meant to basically put your team together. Uh -huh. It is to you look at your team, you're like, you know what? I think I'm a little weak to water. Yeah. Add an electric type. Add a normal type that will also cover you against the electric types. Whatever you want. You're weak to dark users. Put another charm user in yeah. there. Or if you don't want to do any of those, if you don't want to like, you know, double stack on a certain type that we already listed, mm -hmm. there's still a few Pokemon that could serve as a like wild card. Like nobody sees these coming really. Like Dawn Fan and the Nidos. Need a queen, need a yeah, queen. Yeah, you can run you can run a ground user, yeah. right? Or you can go with Dawn Fan, which is actually a generalist. Yeah. Right? Dawn Fan does great against the electric types, the anti-charmers, the charmers, the dark types, like yeah. everything. The Dawn only thing Fan. is weak to water. Yeah. Dawn Fan has that counter as his fast move, which is really helpful in this meta. Yeah. It also has Earthquake, which, as you said, makes it very good at uh, general Pokemon. Right? You don't you don't necessarily have to pick um, whichever move set that is recommended by PV Poke. You can pick the moveset that actually helps you synergize your team, right? You think that you're a little weak to the fairy types? Put Heavy Slam on Dawn Fan, yeah. right? You have Counter, you have Heavy Slam, do it. You think you're weak to Electric types? Put Earthquake, right? You think you're you're weak to the Dark types? Put Play Rough, right? These are That's the thing about Dawn Fan, he's such a great generalist. Yeah. And personally, I. I think I'm gonna go with Don Fan on this one. I got Don Fan on my team. Yeah, hasn't been disappointing. Really? Been pretty good. Don Fan, yeah. right? So now take a let's take a lot like one last look at our team. We have the Dark type, Umbreon, Alolan Ninetales, Skunk Tank, Vaporeon, uh, Minin, and Don Fan. Yeah. Now again, guys, I could change this up. I might even take out Don Fan. I yeah. might take him out. You said there's a seventh choice, which is the normal type Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I think I would categorize all the normal type Pokemon as wild card, would you? Yeah. They all have normal types just have such a range of moves, of move types, because they're normal type, they can get like fire move or a grass <laughs> move or a ghost move. Yeah. It's like they're so hard to understand. Which is what's perfect for a wild card. Yeah. Um, but again, guys, I you can also take out that wild card pick. Put a second uh, water in there. Yeah. Like take out, sorry, take out the ground type, take out the normal type, put a second water in there, put in the second electric, yeah. a second anti charm, dark, charm, whatever you want, right? Like this is what will synergize your team and what will put your team to be able to work the best together. Uh -huh. All right, guys. So we uh, we cracked the code there. We uh, we figured out the ferocious cup. We said exactly how, what your team should be, how it should be put together. Again, if you're not liking the specific po Pokemon that I picked, 
to be on my team, you can replace these Pokemon with other Pokemon. You yeah. don't like Umbreon, you don't have a last resort, put a little Eradicate. You could add a Draft Rig if you want. You no. can add Draft Rig to every slot here. You can run six Draft Rig if you want to. I guess you can. I guess that's against the rules, isn't that's, it? It's kind of against the rules. But do it anyways. Go to your tournament and be like, How about we don't tell people I to get disqualified? I thought this was the Draft Rig Cup. <laughs> this is not the Draft Rig Cup where you no. run six Draft Rigs and nothing else. <laughs> What's going on here? But uh, no. Uh, yeah, guys, please do not get uh, disqualified from your <laughs> if you do, it's his fault. The anti charmer. If you guys like this this video, if it really helps you out and kind of put Ferocious Cup in your head and you kind of now understand it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, let us know down in the comments of what you guys think of what we picked, what you would pick. Ask questions. Yeah, hey, give like us some suggestions. Tell you guys, tell us if you think this is right. Tell us uh, what else you would add. And what you're going to be doing on your team? Maybe we, uh, we or someone else can actually give you some advice, or maybe you'll be teaching someone else something. Yeah, tell me your team. Let me know your secrets. Yeah, let me in there. <clears throat> and if, of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more PvP and Silverina content. See you guys on the next one. Bye.